Hey everybody, welcome back to another Terraria video. We are in the last, uh, sorry, my voice all jumbled. Um, in the last episode, we ended up creating the Hall of Champions, where we're going to keep all of the most pain in the butt bosses. And we also killed Terraria again with one try, which was a very nice surprise. But given that we were able to defeat the Plantera so easily the last time, I think that we are probably about ready to go check out the temple. Now, we have found the temple before, but we never had a key to actually go in the temple. So let's just, uh, I'm just gonna throw all my stuff away really quick, and then we're gonna go, go to the temple and get some, uh, get some stuff done. Get our cake. Keep this. Sorry. Probably, uh, probably should have, uh, cleared out my inventory before doing all this but it's okay uh depth meter we don't need yada 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 we don't need any of this well we're gonna key we're keeping not keeping yeah uh we already have a pickaxe axe we don't need any of this yada 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 and we have our temple key and okay still want to check out what that does Um, we already have the Plantera Relic there. Okay. Let's go, uh, let's go to the temple. Now, where is, there we go. Let's see if we can f see where the front door is. It's right here. Now, I know I could technically just teleport inside of it, but... I want to kind of do this legit. Um, I really got to stop walking inside those. Okay, so we use the key. We now have access to the temple. Which apparently has... Oh, yeah, I forgot I put platforms there to try to... To kind of try and uh, get in here early. No, it's also before I realized I could just teleport places. So, I mean... I'm kind of allowing myself to get hit a bit here, and we're not getting destroyed, really. We're doing pretty well. Uh, lizard, furnace. So, nothing extremely good so far. But I do want to try Golem today. Now, Golem is going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt, because it's normally, it's normally pretty hard to do. And doing it in... Oh, eternity mode and with calamity and all these mods it's gonna be it's gonna be something else i don't know if it's gonna be harder than plantera i have no idea i've never done this boss before in eternity mode so i guess we're gonna have to find out so here's our first summoner for golem got some potions solar fragments which is great we could do the well, actually we've already done the uh, solar eclipse because you could just buy the uh tablet what is Blizzard Katana. Alright. Well to be honest, this isn't uh this isn't isn't as hard as I remember the temple being the first time coming in here. But we also do have pretty good armor and pretty good uh pretty good accessories and weapons and all that. It's not like vanilla Terraria where you kinda kinda don't have all that good stuff at this point in time because normally you get pretty this good of stuff when you're done with uh what's it called you're done with uh, uh moon lord also thank you for all the new subscribers to the channel i really appreciate you guys i believe we have gotten 50 new subscribers overnight i kind of it was, a, it was a really nice thing to wake up to. So thank you everybody who did subscribe. And thank you to all my current subscribers as well for subscribing. Really appreciate it. We are about 80, 87 away from being able to be at 500. Or <laughs> being at 500. So I'm really excited for that. It's going to be a great milestone. And honestly, like I said before, I really did not expect it to happen. So I'm always going to be... Every time we get subscribers, I'm honestly, I'm over the moon. And I I hope I can keep that going 
for the, my entire career on YouTube. Alright. Well, this so far is going easy. I don't think we've taken any damage. We also have a lot of regeneration, so that probably is helping quite a bit. Also, we completely just passed the chest. Also, what is this thing? Is this uh, that's supposed to be some sort of crate or something? But yeah, we are going to pick up everything. We're probably not going to use most of this stuff, but we're going to pick it up anyways. <coughs> now, to be honest, if we could kill Golem in the first try... We have a lot of summoners to continuously try to do it. So, we could, uh, could defeat that. Which I don't think, as far as vanilla goes, I know Golem doesn't really drop anything useful. I don't know about modded or anything like that, so it could be different. Also, we are at the bottom, so we should be pretty pretty close to the area where we need to be for him. Now, we don't have any platforms, so we can't really make an arena. At least I don't think we have any platforms. Oh, full on, uh, oh, we do have platforms. Okay. Uh, we have a full on, uh, that's pretty cool. But we don't need two of them. I'll take the hurtful one instead. Now, where, oh, where is this? Why didn't it? Oh, you can only have one in your inventory. Okay. All right. Doesn't stack. Good to know. Now, I don't know if any of you guys have ever done the, or ran through the temple before for the first time, but normally you take a lot more damage than this. Also, we are in the arena room. Now, Normally, also this is a really cool biome. I don't know what biome this is. Definitely want to check it out after. But normally, when we are in here, or when you normally when you're in here for the first time, you can't break the traps until you've beaten Golem at least once. So that is that's something we won't be able to do. Now, I don't expect to be able just to do the vanilla tactic of staying up here and running around on one platform. I know that's definitely not going to be possible. Uh, but we are going to make a couple of these. There we go. And by a couple, I'm just going to make two. Because really, in in this game, you can't really can't really run around in here and fly around in here anyway so there's not really any any point to making a bunch of it or a bunch of platforms what i will do though is i will go down here and i'll kind of kind of place a platform like this going across just so we don't end up falling on those platforms that spawn all the traps or not the platforms the pressure plates because that will will be kind of annoying which there is a plat or pressure plate right there but it's just some arrows so it's not going to really not going to be that big of an issue so um i do have torches okay good i was going to say we're probably going to need some torches in here because it's extremely dark now the reason this is so the reason sometimes you guys see how it's bright and then all of a sudden it's dark it's because this this brighter light mod that I have, it makes your lights brighter, but sometimes it glitches out and it makes it dark, which is kind of weird, but we should be okay with some torches. Also, let's uh, let's start it up. We're not going to waste any time. Kind of just want to see what his attacks are like, to be honest. Okay, so we already have clipped wings, which I didn't bring my wizard in five. Didn't bring my wizard feather. Oh no way! So he 
He has a debuff to where you can't use platform. Okay, no, that's that's right. Also, he does really hurt, but so far his body is his body is quite a bit hurt. So. But just because his body's quite a bit hurt, you can see from his health that he's maybe 80% of the way now. Now, it really, really sucks how you can't use platforms in this fight. But we're doing, we're doing decent-ish. Also, apparently, you cannot just grapple on the walls to refresh your, uh, to refresh your, uh, what's it called? Okay. But yeah, you can't just grapple on the walls to refresh your hook is what I was trying to say. Now, I'm curious, can I just pick this up? I cannot always. We have to be able to. Has to be able to beat him first in order to do anything. So as soon as you start the fight, actually, it's it's to where you can't do anything about it. Now I know tanking him is probably not the best option for this bot. Yeah, no. He does way too much damage to be thinking about tanking. And we're probably gonna die here because we were being a little uh. Yeah. Hmm. So, what I'm thinking is maybe we get our withered feather back, and just so at least we don't have to deal with clipped wings, and we can fly a little bit better. Withered we'll wing. We could put some stuff away. Oh, let's go. I do want to put this on, so let's do that. <laughs> That's really cool. This is the one thing I like that Calamity adds. It adds in its own kind of spawners. So, you don't have to worry about continuously like going to go find a bee spawner or the plantera bulb or Anything that has like a physical spawner that you have to go find, it's really nice. Like I know we do, I know we can just technically teleport around. And we don't really have to worry about that, but at the same time, it is still nice. Don't kill our nurse. Please, sir. And a quick, uh, Sneaky little heal there. We gotta really keep our nurse alive in this fight. As, as you can tell, he heals a lot. As well as he does a lot of damage. Now, I wonder if she'll let us heal again. Oh, she is absolutely dead. I'm going to try just running with them. Which seems to be kind of working. No way. Okay, so you can't get too far away from them. That's really unfortunate. crazy all right so let's just take a step back from 
golem for a second because we do have some other bosses. And I'm only saying that because I get the feeling that this is going to be one of those bosses where it's going to take us a while to beat. So I do want to do something else. And to be honest, this boss here could very well be one of those bosses as well. Because I remember fighting this with my friend and it was insanely hard. Uh, let's see. Maybe we kind of see what we have otherwise. I don't see her spawning. She's supposed to... The boss is supposed to spawn in the ocean. Obviously. But she's supposed to be on the bottom somewhere. And she kind of floats there until you kill her little NPC character. And as soon as you kill her NPC character, then she comes to life and attacks you. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'm going to quickly do a couple of these really quick. See if it speeds up time. Also, does this say if we have to do it at night? Mm, this one. No, nope, doesn't say. Oh, no. Nope. Alright, well, I'm going to wait for her to spawn, and then I'll be right back, guys. Hey, guys, so... We ended up getting her to spawn. Now, this is her first form, so don't worry if it does look a ki kind of a bit easy. And as soon as she's out of this form, she will go into her next, which that's when it starts getting a little, a little stupidly hard. Just gonna try focusing. Okay, so she is invincible right now. Which means she spawned in her brother. The Leviathan. There we go. I remember the first time I did this boss. It was so hard. I also didn't have that good of equipment when I did it. Okay, so now they are both active. Okay, so Leviathan is down. Let's pick up what he drops really quick. Now we just gotta kill Anita. Which, this is honestly... Sorry for the voice crack. This is honestly a lot easier than I remember it being. Which, I'm not gonna complain. That That's absolutely amazing. Okay, uh... That's the problem with having a full inventory. Uh, da, 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 oh, hello. Whoa. Okay, those are decent. Let's uh, just get rid of some stuff here. I think we picked everything up. Yeah, close enough. We do have that stuff up there, but it, it really doesn't do anything. It just tells you a story about it. So yeah, that was the boss. Extremely easy. A lot easier than the first time I've tried it. Uh, that's really good. I'm pretty sure we have something that makes uh, the icker effect be on bosses. Which, which one that is? Oh. No way. Okay. We don't really need increased mining speed right now. I don't know which I don't know which one gives the curse flames but or the icker maybe I got rid of it at some point but yeah anyways we did have it uh, what did we take out for this I can't remember 
Oh, right, the Feral Claws. Which, I believe, the mechanical... F this is used to... Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is used to make the Feral Claws, so we don't really need it. Let's put on this thing that we got. The Curse Stone. Because that sounds like it could do pretty well. And we don't need this anymore. Anyways, yeah, let's go back to base really quick. Get rid of some of our stuff, because... Our inventory is absolutely insane right now. Let's do a little bit like that and open up our treasure bag. What did we get? So magic, rogue, uh, increased dash velocity, delay after dashing against reduced by 30. Your dashes are empowered by water. Okay. Okay. So, just so you know, this elemental, which I'll show you guys what it looks like. That is what it looks like. It's just a Nita or whatever her name is. So, if you get this one plus the cloud one we had, and I think it's one other, you can combine it and it will have all of them. Which is actually pretty good. But, we're not going to use it. We're not summoners. We might use... Maybe, maybe. I do like our other one that we had better. This guy. This guy is pretty good. So we might do a little bit like that. Which. Yeah. Not really. It doesn't do enough damage for us. So. Uh, let's see what we get rid of. Get rid of this. This. Don't need that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure none of this we really need. So if we could just get rid of all of it. Yeah. Uh, we're probably going to need that, but actually we got this, so we're okay. Uh, pirate Invasion. I don't think we've done that yet. No, I really... I do not think we've done that. We'll keep one of these. This does a lot of damage, but I'm not getting that close to enemies to be able to find out how it is. Alright. Well, we're doing... So far, we're doing pretty good this episode. We're 25 minutes in. We've killed a boss. Just to see what... Oh, okay. Apparently, I put the Atlantis away. That's alright. Uh, if I see it, I'll find it. Okay, let's check out what this does really quick. So yeah, this is what this one does. It's pretty cool. But, again, we're not, we're not a mage. We are melee only. Okay, now let's go to this inventory. This, I'm just going to clear all this out. Which, this is pretty cool, but... Again, not magic. Oh, I don't even know what we put away. Uh, okay. I'm going to put this away. Yada, 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 yada. Don't need any of this. Oh, we got ectoplasm now. That's pretty cool. Ectoplasm. All right, we could do some pretty cool stuff with that. All right, let's uh, let's do the pirate invasion. We won't get anything good from it, but it is good to do. And plus, you never know with all these mods, it might uh, never east. It might give something good. Uh, can the pirate invasion only be done during the day? Also, Pumpkin Moon. That's pretty cool. Pirate Invasion. Yeah, here it is. We haven't done it. Uh, okay. Can be summoned to us. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. So, yeah. So, we just gotta wait. Wait for him to spawn. Which, I'll turn it to day, because maybe that'll help. There we go. And just for... Okay, we can't do it again. We just gotta wait. There we go. Well, 
Which I guess the pirate invasion isn't as far back as I thought it was. I thought it was a more early, early event. But apparently not. Honestly, I, I cannot believe how far we have made it, guys. I mean, I remember back when we were doing Skeletron, I thought we were never going to beat it. At least it felt like we were never going to beat it. But, yeah, we've we've come a long way. I mean, I knew we were going to beat every boss eventually. I just did not think we were going to beat all the bot or as many bosses as we did this quickly. Which, not complaining. It's, it's absolutely amazing. Also, well, that's, that's kind of cool. That's pretty cool, actually. Kind of wish we were arranged. I mean, a good thing is I do keep literally everything. I don't, I don't get rid of anything. So if we do ever decide and be like, oh, hey, I uh, kind of want to be ranged or I want to be mage, you know, we have all the weapons that we've gotten from all these bosses. We didn't throw anything away. So it's so the one good thing about magic storage, since you have so much room, you don't have to worry about making a whole bunch of boxes and trying to organize them and yeah, and this, it makes it a whole mess. So it, it is nice having magic storage. So we do have the option to keep everything. Also, why is that black? That's, that's, that's strange. I wonder if that's just something that some enemy that hit it that turned me black or maybe it got burnt somehow. And you got another flying Dutchman, which it's not that hard. Oh, pirates have been defeated. That was quick. The black spot mount reminds me of uh, Pirates Caribbean. Yeah, this is this is one thing that the pirate invasion is good for. If you like to build with golden golden stuff, it's the greatest way to do it without having to mine ore or mine gold for it. Oh, we got vanity items. Oh, that's not cool, but the wings are cool, cool looking. I do like the wings or what our wings look like now, but. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Here, let's do a... Uh, sorry for coughing. So, we make it up there, and then we quickly drop back down. With this one, we go up, and... Oh. Okay, I guess these are better. What's the... Grants immunity to flip caused by underground hallow... Allows her double jump when you land, jumps, fly, yada yada, okay. Okay, it's actually, th these ones are actually pretty good. Uh, so I I'll keep these ones. It doesn't have the immunities in that, but we will keep it anyways. Uh, and what's this guy? Melee, ship's helm. Okay, it's just boomerang basically. Alright, well that's... That's all fine and dandy, but we don't need any of this really. It's all, like I said, it. Okay. Uh, uh, so, yeah, like I was saying before, we don't really need any of this stuff. It's all kind of useless. Now, I know I put a lot of those artifacts away, which I shouldn't, but I, I ended up doing it. All right. Let's, uh, I gotta craft some more storage here. Storage, uh, we can make Demonite. Can't make Hellstone. I think we're out of Hellstone, actually. We have five in here. How many could we make? Ten? That's that's crazy. All right, well, that will give us 80 times 10 is 800. That'll give us 800 more for storage. And we could always upgrade it after. It's not too bad to do. The one thing I kind of wish is I wish you had the ability to stand on every single one of these. But, unfortunately, you don't. Alright, so, now we have a bunch more, which, right on dot of what I said, 800. 
Thank God my math isn't too bad. Uh, used to craft golden critters. I will keep that. We also need uh, the lizard furnace. Is that what it's called? Which I think we put away. Lizard. Uh, crap, I forgot what this thing's called. And I don't think we have it anymore, and I don't think we put it inside our crafting bench either. That's unfortunate. I'm sure we did put a bunch of it in there. I remember that, so we'll work on that. Okay, let's get our golden critters unlocked. Hammer of proving. That's the new one. Uh, Frillstone. Okay, we, we do have a couple more, but we're not going to worry about it. Okay, let's get no on that. So, we have done the Pirate Invasion. We've done Anita. Or, maybe not Anita. Uh, oh, no, it is Anita. Okay. Great Sand Shark. I don't know if we have the ability to make the Sandstone Core, but I will check it out. Which you would think we would, but... I also, I don't do that much farming off camera. Uh, let's see, sandstone core. We are missing forbidden fragments. I feel like we have definitely gotten some forbidden fragments in the past, but if we did get it from anything in the past, we will have the ability to buy it. So let's go here, boss drops. Mm, didn't want to buy that, but sure. Maybe it's in our modded materials and boss drops. It is absolutely not. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Okay, so apparently there's the boss we got to do eventually here. Um, yeah, it's probably one that we missed. This one we can't craft. We checked out the last time. Okrum. Suspicious looking skull. We should be able to make that. I can't remember how much, how many ectoplasm we got. I think it might have been only three. So we're going to have to check it out. If ectoplasm is pretty get, easy to get, so we can always do that. Uh, let's see. Sus. Suspicious looking skull. Looking lures. Looking skull. Yeah. So, oh, we only got one. Okay. I mean, you sold the fright, but, uh, you know, that's easy. We could always just do a uh, Skeletron Prime fight. Now, let's go get some souls of, or ectoplasm. Let's just spawn down here and make it easier on ourselves. Okay, ectoplasm, there's three. So we have four. <coughs> and let's see, let's see. We will get a little bit more than five just so we could kind of kind of see what's in store that we can make with the ectoplasm. Okay, paladin. Oh, we could always get the paladin shield from this too, actually. Uh, doesn't we got the paladin helm? I don't think we got the paladin shield. Oh, 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 oh! Knight's alloy. It look like paladin shield is upside down. Ooh, hello. It's a pretty decent place to farm. They all just come down here. We don't even have... That's insane. We don't even have our Berserker Potion. That makes a bunch of enemies spawn. And it's already, already pretty hectic. So we definitely have enough Ectoplasm. What are these? Summon damage. Okay. Oh, summons a Squire. Yeah, I'm not really into the whole Squire thing. Oh, sorry guys. My eyes are burning a little bit. Problem with being a uh, heavy duty mechanic. He deals with a lot of chemicals. Which I still need to shower since I literally got home from work, made a quick food, and then started recording. So, shower is definitely on the table for things I need to do. But we do have enough ectoplasm. Uh, let's see. 
plenty of defense. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to keep some of this to figure out what it does. Uh, ability to dash. Don't really need that. We have the ability to dash, and it's really annoying. Dodge attacks. Attacks that deal less than 5% of your max life and damage will not be dodged. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, no. Pretty much all useless except for the paladin stuff. Which definitely might have to go there and farm for some more paladins. Eventually. But for now, let's make the sus the sus looking skull. Which we need some souls of fright, which we need the mechanical skull. I believe. Let's just do this quick. It's gonna be an easy, easy fight. It's gonna be really stupid quick. <coughs> we could honestly probably tank it. Maybe. Those do quite a bit of damage, but other than that, it's pretty it's pretty okay. There we go. Oh, no, not dead. Forgot about that part. There we go. Get our soul of freight. We got 40, which is a lot cheaper than actually buying them. And we can just put all this stuff away. I love how old bosses are getting really easy. It makes my day. Okay, that's what I was talking about. The dash being annoying. It's one thing I don't like about the dash, really. Other than that fact, it's pretty good. Okay, so we need the sus looking skull which is absolutely consumable okay good to know which means we have one chance because i don't well we have more than one chance obviously but <coughs> okay we're at 40 minutes so far luckily i only have a little bit to cut out of this video Okay, I'm gonna take that off my screen, take our map off our screen. So far, it's not too bad to dodge its attacks. Too f or so far. Okay, I'm glad we dodged most of those, because those kind of hurt. So do the size. Easy mode. It's like we've done these before. <laughs> okay, magic, damage, souls of blight which sounds familiar about something we need 90 melee, melee damage allows the player to rocket jump double tap up okay 149 i just want to see if that adds to the weapon we have 149 no okay it does not but the fact of the rocket jump sounds pretty pretty decent so Brimstone fire rains down after getting hit and 12% increased all damage. This probably decreases this, yes. Um, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, this is probably our least. Yeah. Oh, I guess 15 defense. Oh, never mind. I like that. Um, provides flight time. Okay, you know what? That's okay. I am okay without the flight time. Let's get this guy instead because it does help with our melee. And let's get this guy back on. Because it does give us more damage to our weapon. Uh, rocket jump. Sounds pretty decent. Double tap up. Oh, that's... Okay. Alright. That's decent. What else did it say it did? Uh, where did we put it? So we already have armored on it. That's pretty cool. Uh, 90... Okay, cool. Awesome. Also, I feel like we're moving a lot quicker now. We don't have any extra damage, but that's alright. We have infinite percent velocity. 
Okay, don't know what that means. Anywho, let's see. What else can we do in the amount of time we have? Uh, we could do Pumpkin Moon. I think this is after Gollum. Uh, which we need to get pumpkins. Which I feel like we have. I want to say we have pumpkins. But, at the same time, I don't know. I said that about a lot of things. We do not. Alright. Who sells pumpkins? Who? Pump. Pump it up. Pump those jams. Keep the party pumping. Sold by the architect. Yeah. There we go. Man. Oh, what the heck? Why is there a shark on land? Weirdo. Oh, is he not drowning? They're not mammals. You and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals, so let's do it how they do it on Discovery Channel. Which, if you guys have never heard that song before, I highly suggest looking it up. It's called Discovery Channel. And it's the funniest song ever. If you are young, I don't suggest looking up that song. Uh, building Blocks. Pumpkin, hello, we need three of you. About to weigh too many, and we're probably going to get a bunch from the pumpkin moon, but that's okay, because we are awesome. Alright, not really, we're not awesome. I like to think so sometimes, but unfortunately, that's not how the world works. Taboo. Oh, that's kind of cool. Alright, still magic, also, obviously, so we can't, can't use it. Oh, I can't wait to try this one out. Just a helmet is 20 defense. Oh, never mind. Oh, I really like this armor. So the paladin armor would have to have a really good set bonus in order for me to do it. Okay, so. Pumpkin medallion. Hello. Okay. Uh, pumpkin moon, yada, yada, yada. Get rid of you because that's really annoying. Last until sunrise, we have to do it at night. Okay, sounds good to me. Let's turn it to the start of night and then do some pumpkin mooning and it's not consumable, which is awesome. There we go. Now I'm pretty sure there is a weapon we have to get from the pumpkin moon. So hopefully we get it and I, we get it from the pumpkin and don't want to spoil anything, but that weapon is Part of the crafting for the Zenus, which I know we're a long, long ways away from, but at least we could get the stuff that we're going to need to craft it anyway, so we don't have to do all of the farming later on. We also get spooky wood from this, which might give us something for some armor. I'm pretty sure spooky wood is for summoner, but we'll check it out. So, Wave 5, Headless, Horseman, and Hellhound. So far, Wave 5 is easy. Wait, it's Morningwood. Yeah, there we go. Wave 6 is Morningwood. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's go. Okay, we didn't get a treasure bag for that. That's unfortunate. I feel like we deserved a treasure bag for that. Okay, we got another Morningwood. Goodbye, sir. Okay, now we have Poltergeist, Headless Horseman, and the Hellhound. But what we need is the pump or, uh, Pumpkin? Yeah, Pumpkin. We need the Pumpkin to spawn. Which, it's good that we are killing these guys quick because it makes more sp waves spawn. The more waves spawn, the more chance we're going to get a bunch of Pumpkins. There we go, we got our first Pumpkin. Now this guy we do have to be careful with because these guys do do a lot of damage. And they have a lot of health. Now eventually you could get up to like five of these guys to spawn. So you really, really have to be careful. Also nothing dropped there. That's strange. I wonder if we have to kill Gollum before we get anything from, uh, from the pumpkin. Probably. Because I'm pretty sure normally they, they drop stuff. 
<coughs> All right, got another morning wood to take care of. Always got to take care of morning wood. All right. Let's go hee ho bop 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 bop. Let's go hee ho dun 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 Kinda wanna get hit by this guy, like his size. Let's just see how much he has. Here, hit me, hit me, hit me. Okay, it did not hit me. Come on, drop something so I know it's working. Okay, those do no damage. Why? Still does not drop anything, so I feel like we're gonna have to kill Gollum before these guys ever drop anything. Which I'm pretty sure that's an Eternia thing. Alright, wave 14, and we have not even been close to dying yet, which, that's pretty good. Okay, we got another Pumpkin. More Morning Wood. Pumpkin, honestly, is the most damaging thing in this one, so far. Okay, uh, I got something kind of cool. I don't know where I got that from, but... That was from the morning. We got the morning wood relic. So maybe... Okay, there we go. So I guess... We just have to get to a certain wave before they start dropping stuff. Oh, also, ow. I was not paying attention to my health. I was getting a little, little confident there. Which is okay. Let's go over the mountain with the pumpkin. Honestly, this boss is pretty easy to dodge. As well as we could tank quite a bit of its attacks. Okay, it is starting to spawn the two. Which, I don't remember where I read, but something was saying that we needed to get to a certain wave. To get something to spawn. Or drop loot. Which was probably this. Yeah, I'm just going to tank this a little bit. Just so we could get it killed quicker. Uh, we're about to die. So we're not that strong yet. Ah, uh, there. <laughs> That's what we need. The Horseman Blade. <clears throat> Which the Horseman Blade alone is kind of terrible. But. Let's see. Maybe it's different. Because I know a lot of things are reworked with this mod. Okay, I mean... Looks like it spawns pumpkins after people. Alright. Okay. Not too shabby. I mean, I wouldn't say it's nearly as good as the weapon we had. Well, let's see. What's, what's this one do? Okay, yeah. So it's still not better than the Orichalum Sword, which... Is unbel uh, which is unbelievable, because the Orcalum Sword is so long ago that there's no reason why it should be not as good as later game stuff. I'm curious, though, to see what round we could get to before morning. Alright. So we are at the 52 minute mark. Maybe we could do another boss? Question mark? Before, uh... Bat Scepter. Before we can end the episode. Because I kind of feel bad because the last episode we didn't really do a new boss. We just did Plantera again. But let's see, uh... See how this goes. Alright. Uh, spider egg, menacing pumpkin cape, something. Ooh, the jackal crack, we got a whip. Okay. So far around 19. Personally, I don't think we have enough pumpkins, or pumpkin spawning. There we go. So far, three this round. 
I want to see five. I want to see five at a time. Then I'll be happy. Now, I remember when me and my buddy did this. We had such a hard time finding that sword that we ended up just spawning the pumpkin in using commands. And we spawned like 20 of them in. And even then, we still didn't get the sword. So I'm glad we got it right away when we did. Because as you can see, we still have not got another one. So they're pretty uncommon of a drop. They're not like everyday kind of items. Also, I feel like now the waves are just starting to be all pumpkins. Alright, a lot of wyverns are dying up there. Oh, I got clipped wings, I got clipped wings, I got clipped wings. There we go, clipped wings, over. It's only 2 a.m., so we have a long ways to go. Come on. As you can see, we still have not got a single another horseman's blade. It's an absolutely crazy the spawn rate of these. I'm just gonna let this guy be for a second. I just want to pick all this stuff up. Yeah. So, out of how many times we've done it, we've only got one, one uh, uh, horseman blade. Or at least I think that's what it's called. I forget what it's called already. All right. But definitely going to take this as a challenge to see how many I could get during this fight. Now, in the comments, if you guys got to this point, of course, let me know in the comments how many pumpkins we end up killing before the end of the night. Because so far, we're on round 20. Which, that's the highest wave. Now it's just points. We have 2,000 points. I have no healing potions in this inventory. I gotta switch over. 2,375 points. Now I wonder if it stops once you die. Alright, still no sign of another horseman blade. Okay, we have clipped wings again. We got an elemental. It's kind of annoying. There we go, finally another horseman blade. Which that one is hurtful, so we might switch over to this one. Oh. Pumpkin or pumpkin moon has ended. Score fifteen thousand. Hell yeah, that's a really good sword. Or er, uh, score. We'll have to try to do better later on. Uh Jack o' Lantern Lodger. That's cool, I think. Maybe. We got the Witchblade. Alright, uh, rogue damage. Summons a cursed sapling to follow you. A whip. Guild the Pumpkin 12 times. So if you guys were keeping track, that's <coughs> see if you got the same answer. Um, all right, now in the next inventory, did we not get the horseman blade? Oh yeah, we did. 
that's pretty cool. All right. Uh, did we check this inventory out already? No, we didn't. We got the bat scepter, which is pretty good. So this does actually home on things. And yeah, anyways, we got a whole bunch of other stuff. All right, let's quickly get to another boss. <coughs> okay. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Mm, nothing really good. Okay. Sorry. Um. Hmm. Okay. This actually provides a lot more light. Black fairy dust. That's cool. We will open our good abates eventually. I do want to pick up the rest of our loot though. We got a lot of souls of light, which we don't really need. We already have a bunch. Also, did I see the Raven Staff? Don't mind if I do. Raven Staff is actually extremely good summon. Which we could have three, apparently. That's actually a really lucky find. I know that the Raven Staff has like an extremely low drop rate, so I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad we got it. Uh, stutter, 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 a a a under your umbrella, hello. All right, cool. And um, yeah, all right, that's cool. All right, what are we looking at? We are at an hour. I think we have enough time for one more fight. Let's. Okay, you know what? We've done enough bosses. Let's see, Golem. What's behind door number two? It's the one, the only Golem. Now, just so you guys know, this will be our only attempt at Golem. And then we will end the episode. Just so we have something to look forward to for the next episode. Or for you guys, not we. For you guys, have something to look forward to the next episode. So if we can't uh, can't beat it this time now, we will unfortunately have to do wait till the next episode to do it. Which it's going it's going all right, I guess. <laughs> it's not going the greatest. I definitely think you know what. Let's try. Let's try some of our new weapons. Okay, this is not doing nearly as much damage as my other weapon. Not not nearly. What about this one? Nope. Okay. Probably not the best time to be testing out new weapons. We should use something we know that works. Okay. Next phase, we're doing all right, I guess. It's mostly his fist that we gotta watch out for. These little balls on the ground don't really do much damage. And as long as we're moving, ah, what, what, is it, what did I just click? Ah, no. It's always nice how you're able to step on platforms there, buddy. Ah, what the heck did I just Oh, oh stop. Okay. Well, 
this obviously is going to take a while guys but thank you for stopping by and watching the video we did get quite a bit of bosses done today so hopefully you guys like it and also as you guys see we're at 413 subscribers guys we are so close so if you like this video please hit that thumbs up button let me know you like it as well as subscribe i appreciate it very much and anyways we will see you guys in the next episode i gotta take a shower all right see you guys in a bit